Brotozoam, Wikipedia article audio. Brotozoam is a sedative, hypnotic theonatriazolidiazepine drug which is a benzodiazepine analog. It possesses anxiolytic, anticonvulsant, hypnotic, sedative and skeletal muscle relaxant properties, and is considered to be similar in effect to short-acting benzodiazepines such as triazolam. It is used in the short-term treatment of severe or debilitating insomnia. Brotozolam is an extremely potent drug and has shown anti-anxiety activity at doses as low as 0.08 to 0.1 mg, but the usual hypnotic dose of brotozolam is 0.125 to 0.25 mg, and it is rapidly eliminated with an average half-life of 4.4 hours. The drug was developed by a team led by Tini Shiyama while working for Takeda Chemical Industries in 1976 in Japan. Indications Side effects Brotozolam is not approved for sale in the UK, United States, or Canada. It is approved for sale in the Netherlands, Germany, Spain, Belgium, Luxembourg, Austria, Portugal, Israel, Italy, Taiwan, and Japan. Brotozolam is prescribed for the short-term treatment, 2-4 weeks only of severe or debilitating insomnia. Insomnia can be described as a difficulty falling asleep, frequent awakening, early awakenings or a combination of each. Brotozolam is a short-acting benzodiazepine and is sometimes used in patients who have difficulty in maintaining sleep or getting to sleep. Hypnotics should only be used on a short-term basis or in those with chronic insomnia on an occasional basis. Brotozolam, in a dose of 0.25 mg can be used as a pre-medication prior to surgery. This dose was found to be comparable in efficacy to 2 mg flunitrazepam as a pre-medicant prior to surgery. Common side effects of brotozolam are typical of hypnotic benzodiazepines and are related to CNS depression, and include somnolence, ataxia, headache, enterograde amnesia, dizziness, fatigue impairment of motor functions, slurred speech, confusion, and clumsiness. Less common side effects include hypotension, respiratory depression, hallucinations, nausea, and vomiting, palpitations, and paradoxical reactions. Contraindications and special caution Brotozolam can cause residual side effects the next day such as impaired cognitive and motor functions as well as drowsiness. Disruption of sleep patterns may also occur such as suppression of REM sleep. These side effects are more likely at higher doses. In clinical trials brotozolam 0.125 to 0.5 mg improved sleep and insomniacs similarly to nitrazepam 2.5 and 5 mg, flunitrazepam 2 mg, and triazolam 0.25 mg, whilst brotozolam 0.5 mg was shown to be superior to fluorazepam 30 mg but inferior to temazepam 30 mg in some studies. Brotozolam at dosages below 0.5 mg at night usually produced minimal morning drowsiness, no residual impairment of psychomotor performance occurs following dosages within the recommended range of 0.125 to 0.25 mg. No serious side effects have been reported to date and the most frequently observed adverse experiences are drowsiness, headache, and dizziness. Mild rebound insomnia may occur in some patients when treatment is stopped. Pharmacology Theonodiazepines and benzodiazepines require special precaution if used in the elderly, during pregnancy, in children, 
alcohol or drug dependent individuals and individuals with comorbid psychiatric disorders. Brotozolam has been shown in animal studies to be a very high potency theonodiazepine. The elimination half life of brotozolam is 3 6 hours. It is absorbed rapidly after administration, after administration, it is metabolized into active metabolites, one of which is far less potent than brotozolam and the other is only present in very small amounts in the blood and thus the metabolites of brotozolam do not have significant pharmacological effect in humans. Brotozolam induces impairment of motor function and has hypnotic properties. Brotozolam increases the slow wave light sleep in a dose dependent manner whilst suppressing deep sleep stages. Less time is spent in stages 3 and 4, which are the deep sleep stages when GABergics such as brotozolam are used. Benzodiazepines and theonodiazepines are therefore not ideal hypnotics in the treatment of insomnia. The suppression of deep sleep stages by either may be especially problematic to the elderly as they naturally spend less time in the deep sleep stage. Abuse Brotozolam is a drug with a potential for abuse. Drug misuse is defined as taking the drug to achieve a high or continuing to take the drug in the long term against medical advice. Commercial Names Abuse of brotozolam, although not widespread, was a problem in Hong Kong back in the late 1980s and 1990s. To control benzodiazepine abuse in Hong Kong, the government's Pharmacy and Poisons Board reclassified benzodiazepines as dangerous drugs in October 1990. Apart from formal prescriptions, detailed records were then required for the supply and dispensing of these drugs. These regulations were applied initially only to brotozolam, triazolam and flunitrazepam as they were the major benzodiazepines of abuse. The impact of these regulatory changes on benzodiazepine use has been studied by analyzing the sales patterns of seven benzodiazepines between 1990-1993. In 1991, the sales of flunitrazepam and triazolam fell, but the sales of five unrestricted benzodiazepines increased. Particular problems arose with the trafficking and abuse of nemetazepam and the abuse of temazepam within that same year in 1991. The regulations that were originally only applied to brotozolam, triazolam and flunitrazepam were now being extended to include all benzodiazepines by January 1992. A regulation requiring the use of proper prescriptions and detailed records for the supply and dispensing of benzodiazepines, appears to have curbed, at least partially, their abuse in Hong Kong. There are still some problems with temazepam, nemetazepam, triazolam, and brotozolam, but they are not major. Notes